ACS version 5 has a new look and introduces rule-based policies. As with earlier versions, you first define your AAA clients and network device groups in the network resource navigation area. Let's look at the devices already defined. This ACS server provides AAA services for devices in Boston and devices in New York. We will also need to define how our users will be authenticated. You can define users and hosts in the internal ACS database or use an external identity store. Our users are defined in an external Windows Active Directory server. Let's take a look. We establish a connection to Active Directory by providing credentials. By doing so, we can view the current set of AD groups. Now, let's get ready to build our rule-based policies. We'll open the Access Policies navigation area. We see the two default access services, one for device administration and one for network access. Each access service has two default policies, one for the identity policy and one for the authorization policy. Let's look at the policies for network access. First, the identity policy. The identity policy can be simple or rule-based. Let's define a simple policy that says use Active Directory. There, now all network access requests will authenticate the users using the external Active Directory. Next, let's define the authorization policy. By default, the conditions could be based on location and date and time. In this scenario, we also want to base the authorization on AD groups. To do so, we need to click the Customize button. Let's add AD groups as a condition to the rules. We can change the order that these conditions appear in the conditions table by moving them up and down here. Now we can base the rule on three conditions, 80 groups, location, and time and date. We are now ready to create a rule for authorization. The first rule will provide corporate access to all employees that gain network access from devices in New York City. We first change the rule name. We base the rule on 80 groups. Notice that you can make this condition based on any or all the selected 80 groups. Here's the list of current 80 groups. We'll select all employee groups, excluding contractors and vendors. We will also base the rule on their access location. This rule will be based on all access locations in our New York City office. Now, let's define their permissions. We have previously defined these authorization profiles. The corporate profile will place the access request in the corporate VLAN. Now, let's create a second rule for handling the contractors and vendors. For these users in the New York City offices, we will provide corporate access only during business hours. Let's watch. The contractor and vendors rule must include the time and date condition. The 
Now, during non-business hours, the contractor and vendors will only be allowed guest access. An easy way to create this new rule is to duplicate the previous one and edit it. Let's watch. Here, if the date and time does not match business hours, then they will not get corporate access. They will be authorized for guest access only. We now have our three rules that define our authorization policy for network access in New York City. The last rule called default states that if the other three rules do not match the conditions, then access will be denied. This concludes the demonstration on how to create rule-based policies in ACS version 5. Thank you.